In this video, we're going to look at Archicad shortcuts that will speed you through the day. If you've used Archicad for any length of time, you'll know that there are loads of keyboard shortcuts and it can take quite a bit of time to get to know them all. Some of these can increase your productivity, but a few of them are a bit more complicated to remember and you don't use them as often as lots of other standard commands. So the ones we're going to look at here, there's only actually three shortcuts and only four keys to remember. But they're shortcuts you can use all the time and are very, very simple. They are just single key shortcuts. The first one is the escape key. You probably all use it, especially anybody that's an ex AutoCAD user because there tends to be the click, 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 click when you hit escape lots and lots of times. But does it actually do what you expect? The first thing we'll do is just take a look at an example of how we can use the escape key. So I'm starting off here in 3D to look at some examples, and what I'm going to do is just draw a piece of wall. So the first most basic thing it does, if I start to draw a wall, start to type a number, realise I've made a mistake, press escape once, and that cancels that number. I can then move and maybe realign the wall, start to type again, realise I've made another mistake, press escape once more, that takes me back out, I can type another number, or if I want, if I press escape a second time, that actually cancels the command. If I decide to go navigate, so I decide to walk around the room here and have a look from this side, if I decide that that's the view I want to keep, rather than keep moving here, we just press escape, and that cancels out of navigation and sets the view. If I drop back to 2D, some of the other common uses for the escape key are the basic ones like if we rest the mouse on the corner of a wall, we get a little snap fixings. And again, if we decide that we don't actually want these, we press escape and that takes them back out. Again, like 3D, if I've started to type in a number, press escape, that stops the input of any of these numbers. If I have things selected, pressing escape with nothing else running, that actually deselects all those elements. If there's a marquee visible, again, the escape key cancels the marquee. And these work in combinations. So I may have a marquee. I may have some walls selected in the walls. I may be about to start a command. So I'm actually dragging this command. So I can cancel the command. I can deselect the elements and I can remove the marquee. And then the final one is the one that tends to trip people up because I'm working away with the wall tool active here. But if I press escape again and there's nothing else happening, what happens is I'm suddenly jump back onto the arrow tool because the final thing escape does is move you from whatever the active tool is back to the arrow tool. This leads quite nicely on to the next key and the next shortcut. And that's very useful if you're in the habit of over clicking the escape key. What happens when we want to switch from the arrow tool back to whatever tool we were on? All we do in this case is press W. So you'll see I'm now back to the wall tool. If we keep pressing W, we get a shiny key, but all it actually does is switch from whatever active tool we're on to the arrow tool and then back again. If I go to a different tool, so I'm on the object tool now. If I press escape, that cancels, stops, whatever we're doing, deselects, but it puts me on the arrow tool. If I press W, it switches back to the object tool. And if I keep pressing, it just cycles between the two of them. This is really useful, especially if you happen to be working down in a corner of the, the screen away from wherever you are, especially again on something like a big retina display screen. If I've cancelled, clicked too many times on escape and I want to go back to the object tool, rather than move the mouse all the way up to the top of the screen to find it and then all the way back down to wherever we were, just pressing W takes you through those tools. However, you might not want to actually go back to the last tool or maybe you want to go to a different tool. So rather than using escape or W, this time we can use the third shortcut which just uses two keys. If I want to go up the toolbox or down through the toolbox, we just press the page up and the page down buttons. So I'm on the object tool. If I want to go to the lamp tool, page down, and I'm on the lamp tool. Page down again, and I'm on the stair tool. 
if I want to shift back to the arrow tool, press W to take me back here, press page down a couple of times, and I'm on the wall tool. And it means I can do all of this without actually taking my hand off the mouse. So I can keep concentrating where the mouse is, where the cursor is, whatever I'm doing, and just use the keyboard to navigate.